An epidemic is sweeping the nation. Its origin is unknown. Its primary target, high school seniors. Uh, I'm a senior. A senior? I'm a senior. It's a problem. Definitely a real problem. This is senioritis. In classrooms all over the country and possibly the world, high school seniors are suffering from the effects of senioritis, a disease of sorts that causes students to slack off in class and prevents motivation. Hi, I'm Emily. I'm a senior. <laughs> yes. Say it. I have senioritis. I literally like can't get up in the morning. There's no motivation anymore. Why? It's just, I just don't see a point anymore, man. I don't know why. I just don't. Senioritis is something that's sweeping the nation right now. It's really, it's a hard battle you have to fight with every day. General laziness, procrastination, no motivation. Your grades at all? Yes. <laughs> How so? <laughs> I went from being a straight A student to being like, eh, A's and B's. <laughs> So, more bees, but <laughs> like. People, like, it's, it just walk through the hallways and literally everything gets on your nerves. Everything gets on my nerves. And then when I go home, I go immediately to sleep. Uh, senioritis is definitely a real problem. Uh, I have it pretty much every day. It affects how I treat my classes typically. Uh, knowing that, especially that I got into my dream college that I want to go to to study what I, what I really want to do with my life. What do you think causes senioritis? Um, honestly, I don't know. I think it's the thought of uh, getting out of Green Hope and um, going on to better places, I guess. Senioritis isn't just affecting seniors anymore. There's been a recent breakout of premature senioritis. Um, I'm a sophomore in high school, but I do have senioritis. Um, I'm surrounded by seniors all day. I pretty much live for Netflix. Um, I've left life, homework, school to focus on my one true calling of Netflix. Senioritis does not go unnoticed by teachers, especially those who teach large numbers of seniors. Okay, first off, do you think senioritis is real? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> what have you noticed like, in the seniors in your class? to like second semester especially? Um, probably one of the biggest things is phones. Um, phones are becoming a huge issue because they don't want to necessarily focus on what we've got going on in class. They want to pull out the phones and they want to check Twitter or whatever other social media site is out there or send Snapchat pictures of themselves. But just this lack of care and concern and I am done and I've got nine weeks until I'm out of here and um, so, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'd say probably as a whole, the whole senior body is more on the side of senioritis, um, but you definitely have select few that are still kind of like, yeah, I'm, I'm here for a little bit longer, um, but I just don't know how much longer they're going to hold on. <laughs> There's no foreseeable cure for senioritis, but teachers are working to reduce the amount of cases. It's hard, because I know... You know, spring is in the air, it's warmer outside, um, I don't know, except to just, especially if you've got AP exams, like, you've got to keep pushing, at least, at least that long. Like, I get it once the AP exams are done and your things have calmed down in the classroom, but you've got to get through those exams. Do you think there's a cure? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I'm not looking for one right now, because I'm just cruising, so. I don't know, it's a very exciting and scary feeling. I think that's what makes senior ed such a problem is that you don't know whether it's, yay, I want to get out of here, or help me, I don't know what to do. And it's the scary mix of both of those, and it can be a disease. <laughs>